Here's a set of GT2871 turbos that I did an upgrade and a rebuild for. So originally these did have a different compressor wheel because there's two variations of the GT2871. There's a one variation that has a 51 millimeter compressor wheel. There's another variation that has a 53.11 millimeter compressor wheel which is what I had to convert these over to to fix it. Since I was converting these over anyway, I went ahead and machined the compressor housings for inlets so this customer could run intakes on his compressor housings without having the bolt-on flange. This is really important because it looked like what happened originally with this guy's turbo is that it looked like he just didn't have an air filter at all and this is a custom setup for a BMW 335i. So it made sense to go ahead and make inlets for it. So I did that. I know it was like seven hours worth of work, but it's really important for that to be done. These have a T2 flange and the turbine housings are 0.64 AR, but there also is a 0.86 AR turbine housing and they're both T2. If you want to rebuild a turbo like this yourself, I do have some videos on how to do that. There's one video called GT3071R Turbo Rebuild and I think there's another one I did on the GT3076. You can watch the disassembly of the turbo like this which is the GT35R disassembly video that I made. If you need the parts for them, we do have those parts available. You can find those on those rebuild video tutorials that I made. 